Salve. Anyways, this is a story when I met Sabu, Terry Bronk. A lot of people probably don't know who he is. He's like a wrestler. But just to give an idea, like, at the time I met him, and like, out of the people that are alive, like, he was the first time I was one of the meet in, like, the world. So, like, I listened to, like, a few shoot interviews, so I have an idea how he was, because, like, he never talked. But, like, it's like whatever I want, like, 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 just give an idea how my life is. Like, there was this baseball player called Jose Canseco. I really, I never got to see him play. I really wanted to see him play. My friend, he got tickets, so like $100 tickets. We're going to go see the Yankees versus uh, Chicago White Sox. And then 9-11 happened, so that game never happened. I still have the tickets stuck somewhere. So you know what I mean? I was going to go see Jose Canseco, and look what happens. And I mean, I'm, I'm not even like a Yankee. You know, if anything, Gary Carr is my favorite baseball player, and he's on the Mets. So... Even like the last hockey game I went to in my life was April 6th, and I think it was 2015. It was the Islanders Kings, and I wanted to see Lubomir Vissanovsky, like one of my favorite players, fantasy or otherwise, playing for some reason and playing the game. So you know what I mean? Shabu, I finally wanted to see him wrestle. All these people would never go watch him wrestle with me, like when they had to free board at the other place at the ACW. So then he's finally in like the Hammerstein Ballroom, and that was when they had the Batista versus Big Show when they like stopped the match and everything because people like booed it. There was almost like a riot. Like, you know, I hurt my back, like, the day after 666. You know, I'm like, oh, you know, like, my I had a herniated disc. I'm like, oh, look, I dodged the bullet, 666. And the next day, uh, June 7th, my back, like, I herniated, like, the L5 went out or whatever. So, like, I could barely move. We already had tickets. Stephen Collins got the ticket. He was big NWO mark. He was a big Hulk Hogan fan. So, you know what I mean? So, I'll go to after the show. Like, sometime after the show, they had, like, a thing, like, a signing at one of these places, like, in the mall. So I'm wearing this shirt, the Sabu shirt. I'm walking around, you feel kind of subconscious. And there weren't that many people there. We were like a little late. My left eye was kind of screwed up, so I had it closed. So I had like a sty or something. So I remember when I met Sabu, I had some idea how he was. So you can see like I even have like little action figures. You know, I, I had some idea how Sabu was from listening to the various shoot interviews. And so basically, you know, I was basically like, all right. So when I'm walking by Sabu, I tapped him on his left shoulder. Like as I walked by, like in the middle of him and Sandman. So like he looked to his left and shit, so it was pretty funny. You know, I didn't know how he was going to react. Like maybe he'll flip out and start attacking me. But you know, I think me and Collins could have probably taken him. I was probably about his size. He got busted, him and the RVD, and gotten arrested sometime in July, July 3rd, 2006. So, you know what I mean? They were being, like, punished. He didn't get to wrestle at the event I went to, which really pissed me off. So, anyways, you know, I'm talking to him. I had some small talk. And when Sabu took the picture, he put his arm up. You see how he does, like, his thing? Even though he was sitting there with, like, his thing on his head, he did it. Sandman just kept signing. You know, he didn't, he, like, he stopped signing and did for a second, but he didn't do the thing with the arm that has a tattoo. So I was a little bit, like, pissed off about that. So, like, when I walked over to, like, Sandman, I smacked him so fucking hard on the back which I didn't really mean to do, I just went to sort of tap him, but I mean, I fucking, like, smacked the motherfucker, like, well, bam, motherfucker, you're gonna fucking acknowledge me, I spent 20 bucks for you motherfuckers to sign the picture, and you didn't even hold up your arm that has a fucking tattoo, motherfucker, uh-uh, there was a pretty blind girl there, too, I think that might have been Chastity, so it's just, like, so funny, because it's like, Sam, man, was stunned, he couldn't fucking even believe what happened, and then he started talking to me, I'm like, hey, man, blah, blah. I think we shook hands and shit, but, like, you can tell, he was fucking startled, he didn't believe, and, you know, he was just so fucking funny and you know so it was pretty cool I got to meet Sabu with Harry Bronk but basically <clears throat> we're at the Hammerstein ballroom on the way there this one guy's trying to get me to buy him food and like Burger King so like, just go up to the cold counter and buy me some fries or whatever whatever the fuck he's like you know what I mean because I got separated for a while because like they had to you know he had to take the girl with him to the bathroom and then, you know, we're in the Hammerstein Ballroom, and man, they were so pissed with the main event. Uh, one, C.W. Anderson, they put over the guy that was originally going to beat him, Shannon Moore. Because I talked to C.W. Anderson, I was friends with him on MySpace, so he told me they changed the result of that, like mid-match, because people with Shannon Moore were so on over. But yeah, it was the first of CM Punk. CM Punk was at the match. That was his first, like, big WWF or whatever, even though it was, you know, ECW, but WWF. So, I remember when we were at that show, man, dude, it was like a riot by the time the Batista and Big Show match was. At one point, they stopped the match. They're trying to talk to the audience to, like, calm them down, dude. It was like heat, dude. And I, like, I can barely move because it was, like, my back still, you know, it only went out not that long ago. And I can barely move. I'm, like, sitting in the bleachers, dude. People are getting crazy. You feel the atmosphere. They call it white heat when it's going to be, like, a real riot. And, dude, I think if Sabu didn't come out at the end of that match and do something, man, oh, man, they would have had a riot. Even after the match, Big Show's like talking to people. People throw water bottles at the Big Show. He's like a giant. He's almost seven feet, a huge guy. 
uh, you know, people being arrested, somebody got like thrown and like all this stuff and the girl that that kid Stephen Collins was with, like she hurt her ankle and people were running and shoving and pushing people. It was fucking, it was a crazy event, man. The Hammerstein Ballroom, 2006. I think it was like one of the last DCWs was on the Sci-Fi Channel. You know what I mean? One guy I was sitting next to, he was like taking pictures and everything. So it's pretty cool. But you know what? I never got to see Sabu wrestle. That's my favorite wrestler, Sabu. Hey, a booster I like from FMW. Mike Awesome from, you know, FMW, also known as the Gladiator. Probably one of the biggest, best big men to ever wrestle. I mean, uh, he'd have his matches with his power bombing people through tables and stuff. I think it was Tanaka, maybe the guy he had the feud with. We had all the ECW matches. Hey, Abusa had his tag team partner that did RVD versus Sabu. A lot of people know him because uh, I think Kenji Sajaki, I think. He has like all the stuff painted on him. But you know what I mean? It's like whatever I dream, whatever I really want to do, like it never happens. Like true tales, real street stories, real sad stories. You know what I mean? It meant so much to me to get to see Sabu wrestle. I didn't get to see Sabu wrestle. It meant so much to me to see Luba Morgus Amnowski play hockey. I never got to see him play hockey in person. It meant a lot for me to see Jose Canseco that I'd go to the city to go to the friggin' Yankee game with my friend. And you know what I mean? Events prevented me from that. And you know what I mean? That's just kind of how it is. Whatever I really want, it just doesn't really happen in life. And that's just kind of how it is. You know what I mean? That's how it's always been in a way. It's like rough. Like I, maybe I would have seen the Vegas Knights game with the Islanders game, but you know, that's not going to happen. I'm not going to, I probably never see a hockey game again. I mean, I got the neck injury and stuff after that, but. Yeah, you know what I mean? It was still cool to see Terry Bronx out uh, room person. And when they were drinking the Red Bulls and everything, I realized there was no fame and fortune. We probably could have hung and talked with them a little bit more and stuff. But you know what I mean? It's really tough being a wrestler. It's not glitz and glamour. I mean, they were drinking Red Bulls. They were spent. They were signing all these autographs. They had to sign to get done. So you know what I mean? I'm glad I met Terry Bronx, Sabu, but I really wish I got to see Sabu wrestle. But that's how life is. And you can see the figures. I have Bobby Lashley. I have RVD. And I, you know, I have Sabu's uh, ECW figures too, but I, I couldn't find it. I don't want to dig it out. I couldn't get this damn thing to stand up. But you can kind of see, you know, I, I have some figures, some other stuff. But uh, yeah, Sabu. And the thing with the Sabu shirt is, you know, he's got like a tagline that's friggin', uh, you know, Imagine walking around with that. That's what the front of the shirt is. You know what I mean? Suicidal, homicidal, genocide, death-defying maniac. It's not going to go over well. So, Shabu! But anyways, take care.